back to another one of my vlogs. It is Monday and I didn't have school today so it was nice to just be at home and chill. As you saw just a while ago, my co-worker who happens to be my best friend, we painted pants outside because this Friday we are actually having a full-on blue out day for our cross-country team because we have our last meet on Saturday and this meet is actually our state championship meet for private school. So I'm so excited. This is our first time being able to participate in something like this. We, I got an invite over the summer and so I'm really excited that this is what we get to do to be able to do something like this because it means that our, we're moving forward, we're, we're growing, we're getting more meets, we're getting out there, doing more things. So we are doing it big. We are doing a big pep rally that day. The whole school is going to blue out and so we just, we were like, let's paint some pants. Let's feel like we're back in high school again and so we painted pants today and then I just got done taking a shower and getting ready for the evening and I'm about to sit down for something that's also really exciting. I am sitting down and recording another episode of my new podcast that's coming out in a couple of weeks. So by the time you see this vlog, I think by the time I post it, the podcast will already have been out and at least two or three episodes will be up and available and ready. But I'm really excited about this podcast. It is something that I just get to sit down and just talk about different things that are happening in my life. And it's one of those things where I don't really have a specific topic or, you know, we're not going in depth in scripture to learn something, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here preaching and all of this stuff. I'm just sharing what's on my heart, what I'm learning personally, and the name of it is basically meaning that I'm on this journey myself and I'm just inviting you to come along with me on this journey and I think it'll be really fun and really unique and different because it's the idea behind it is that we're going to go through it together and we're going to you know figure out these things together. It's not me necessarily. It is in a way me teaching you but at the same time it's not because like I say in the podcast I'm not a theologian. I'm not a preacher. I don't know all of this stuff. I'm learning it myself. Self, and I just have a passion for sharing it and talking about it along my journey and inviting you to come along with me and let's talk about these things together. I even have a Patreon group that's ready to go where we can talk about these things in the podcast or just do whatever. It doesn't have to necessarily be related to the podcast, but we might do like some Bible studies, some worship nights, some community chats, workouts, different things like that. Just to have a community behind it that it's not about me. It's not about doing all of these things and then you just get to follow along. Like we get to actually participate and do it together. So I'm really excited to see what the Lord has in this. So I'm going to go get ready to podcast. This is my setup. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see. This is my setup. Yes, I got all my stuffed animals back there. This is usually where they sit in this chair, but this is the chair that I have right now. And then my makeshift table, it's two dinner tables. Beautiful, I know, but this is what I'm going with right now. And then I got headphones and a microphone for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. And so this was kind of like, because I knew that I wanted to do this since I got this for my birthday. I was like, well, you know what? I have the equipment now. It's not super fancy, super high dollar, but it is something to get started. It's been so much fun, and I just love talking in the microphone. It's just fun. Good morning. It's Thursday. I have not picked up the camera at all this week trying to do everything that's going on this week. I've just had a lot on my mind, and I was going to try and put all of this up while I'm talking to you. I'm going to adjust the camera. There we go. This is what I'm going to do. Like I said, this week has just been busy, which I mean, what week isn't busy? There's always something going on. But I just haven't had enough time to actually pick up the camera and actually talk about anything because mainly it's been boring. It's just been kind of taking care of regular business. Like nothing crazy has really happened for me to pick up the camera and talk about. My friend and I, we finished painting our pants last night for the pep rally that's tomorrow. They turned out really, really cute. And I would love to show you like a small sneak peek but there's just like I put all the kids names on them of my team and different things like that and so I don't want to expose that to the internet so that's why I won't be able to show you the full thing but I can kind of show you a sneak peek and I like fringed the bottom like I cut off the bottom of the jeans and fringed it oh my gosh it was so much fun it was just fun to just 
hang out together and just be together and be present together and just do something like that. Like it was honestly very therapeutic. Even though I am not an artsy person, I'm not a creative person, it was fun to just paint. It was fun to just tear up the jeans like I did with cutting off the bottom and doing the fringe and stuff. It ended up being a lot of fun and I think we're already talking about doing it again just randomly just to paint some jeans or just to cut up some jeans or just to do something because it was just fun and different to be able to sit and hang out besides just like sitting and watching a movie or sitting and going having a coffee going having coffee or something like that it was just fun it was different so we're already thinking about possibly doing it again but I am getting ready for today like I said it is Thursday I am packing some fruit and an element because I need something I feel like I've just been eating a lot of like heavy, hearty type, type food. And it's been great, obviously. It tastes delicious, but I just feel heavy. Like I need some freshness to my body. So I ordered today at school, so I already have a lunch, which is great. So I don't have to pack a lunch, but I am gonna pack some fruit and then an element to put in my water at the end of the day to get some like electrolytes and nutrients back inside me. And element is one of my favorites. I've tried different electrolyte mixes and stuff like that, but Element, I can f totally tell a difference. They taste amazing. They're really good for you. I don't even know all the details, and obviously this is not sponsored by Element, or I'd be saying a lot more. All I have to say is that I love Element, and I will say I do have a link that's in the description below that if you want to purchase Element, you get a free, I think it's a travel pack, or not a travel pack, a free sample pack with your order. So like if you want to order a box of a certain flavor, but you want to try some other flavors, you get a free sample pack if you use the link, and I'll have that in the description below. This video is not sponsored. It's not like I get money. It's not an affiliate or anything like that. It's simply just if I refer you and you want to purchase and try out Element for yourself if you've never tried it out before, you get that free sample pack with your purchase. So I'm going to pack one of those in my lunchbox, or at least my backpack because I don't have a lunchbox today. Like I said, I don't have a lunch. I'm just going to try to get some stuff done today. I know I need to get some grading done because it, we are at the end of our nine weeks. We do a nine weeks instead of a six weeks. And so I've got to get some of that in so I can be done and ready to go to print report cards and all that stuff for next week. And then I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. I know there's stuff on my list. Oh, I need to write thank you notes for my event that I had last week. I'm writing thank you notes and sending those out at some point and I need to get those written because I need to get those sent out as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm sorry this vlog has been pretty boring so far because I pretty much have had nothing to share or say. That's what's been going on. I'm gonna go finish getting ready, go to school, and I'll talk to you guys later. So I'm pretty sure that I already have grapes in my fridge at school, but I'm gonna pack an orange. I'm trying to decide if I want a banana, but I don't think I'm gonna pack a banana. I think I'm just gonna pack this orange and then like I said, I packed some grapes yesterday and I didn't eat all of them. So I am, oh, and I already have an element package in my bag right here. So I may not have to pack an element. I guess that was from the other day and I didn't, I guess I didn't use it. So that's why it's still in my thing. I'm gonna grab my package of thank you notes, put that in my bag. My rings are in my backpack because I took them off yesterday when we were doing school because I was doing something with the kids during athletics, so. Oh, I need to grab my vitamins, that reminds me. I got new vitamins. I am done with this week. Well, actually, I should probably take that back because I'm not officially done. I still have our last cross-country meet in the morning, and it's going to be an early one. It is our state championship meet. I'm so incredibly excited and so incredibly proud that I get to say that I get to take my team to a state championship for cross-country. So 
I have all of this on because blew out today to celebrate our kids doing state tomorrow and we had a big pep rally at the end. I have been working with my kids this week on doing a drumstick routine just because each pep rally I try to do something a little bit different whether we play like a game with the kids or the teachers in the school something like that just to change up the pep rally a little bit and because it was our last pep rally and it was a big pep rally I wanted it to make I wanted to make it like really big and really exciting so I created a drumstick routine for the kids and that's what we did today during the pep rally and it was it was really so much fun I was really anxious at first because I was worried that someone was going to get nervous or mess up or like they were gonna accidentally break a stick or their sunglasses were gonna fall off their hat was gonna fall off and then like mess up the whole thing but I shouldn't have worried because my kids had so much fun doing it and they did so well and it was just fun anyways even if they did mess up even if something fell off or they broke something they, it means they were having fun and they were into it and it was just exciting. I just got home and I changed because I am exhausted and I was ready to get in some comfortable clothes but I wanted to kind of do a brief little showing of my pants and then I'll show you the back because like I said most of the pants are my kids names on the team and I don't really want to expose all that to the internet so this is the back I put a verse put a little markings and then this this is like a team motto thing that we always do we always write it in sharpie on our arms I did this for the first time I fringed the bottom of my pants and I had so much fun that I even kind of tried to distress the back pocket right here. It didn't turn out as good as I had hoped. Like I mentioned earlier, it was just so much fun to just be able to go crazy on a pair of pants and just also have time with my best friend and do this at the same time. Because I've never done anything like this before and I'm, again, not a creative, artsy type person, but it was fun to just go crazy and just do something fun. I am going to try to rest as much as I can because I have an early morning in the morning trying to get up and go to this cross country meet and then just relax the rest of the weekend. Like I don't plan on doing anything except just be at home, relax. Hopefully it's sunny and it's still cool weather that I get to go hang out in my hammock. Like today it's not bad, but it's been kind of rainy and cloudy. Plus I am just gonna be inside because I really need to do laundry so my laundry is like done and I don't have to worry about it too much tomorrow whenever I get home after the meet. I might go ahead and close out this vlog because I really don't have much else to say except that it has been a crazy week but it has been a good week. The Lord has shown up and something that I have learned this week through everything that it is always about the Lord and it is always about how he shows up, how it is for his glory, how it is for his kingdom, that everything that we do is not about us. And even though this vlog has really nothing to it, really doesn't have much to it, my verse this morning basically was talking about, or no, was it the other day? I don't remember what it was, but it was basically talking about during what you're doing is hard. The discipline of it is tough. It seems really hard, but don't give up. And that's kind of what I'm learning right now with like starting back YouTube and doing all these things that even though I don't have all the perfect equipment, even though I don't have all the, the fabulous life of showing you what I'm cooking every day or how well I have my life together or the fact that I am able to even video every single day, it doesn't matter that I have all that or not. It doesn't matter that I have it down perfectly. It doesn't matter that, you know, I have this figured out or any of that. It's one of those things where it's tough, it's hard, I may not have a lot of content, but I'm not going to give up and I shouldn't stop. I'm going to move over here and try to turn the brightness down just a little bit. It's not about all that I have. It's not about the life that I'm sharing on here. Like, yes, it is, but it's more the fact that I keep showing up and doing this, that I keep pressing through the discipline as tough it is, as it is, as confusing as it may be at times or I just don't have anything to share on my vlog it doesn't matter and you know if that happens it happens but it shouldn't be an excuse for me to stop and completely give up because at the end it's going to feel good and it kind of sounds ridiculous that I'm talking about vlogging in this way but really it's just a good example that even if it's hard working on these vlogs, even if I feel like I don't have enough time to edit or I don't even have enough time to film anything and I could easily just say, well, this week was a bust and I had absolutely nothing to share. 
so I'm just not going to make a vlog at all. But that's what giving up is. And then the very next week I could do the exact same thing and then that's why it's never going to finish. It's never going to keep going. You're never going to be able to continue doing what God called you to do. And I'm not saying that God's calling me to vlogging and all of this stuff, but it's just a good example and a good reminder that with whatever we do in life, there are going to be things where it's really hard or there's going to be times in our life where it seems like it's not important or there's going to be times in our life where we feel like we absolutely have nothing to give or share that it's more of a kind of receiving from the Lord we're not really like putting out there what the Lord wants us to do you know there's all kinds of seasons and things that we go through but that doesn't mean that we're supposed to just give up just because it's not going the way that we want it to or just because it's not going the way that we think it should or we're not seeing all of these results or we're not feeling really good about it or we're not excited about it or it just seems kind of useless or worthless don't give up because and i i gotta remember that verse i'm gonna try to pull it up really quick okay so the verse was hebrews 12 11 and it says for the moment all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it and I love this verse. This is one of those verses that, honestly, I don't think I've ever heard. So it was such an encouragement and such a just uplifting verse to hear that it seems painful right now, or it seems useless, or it seems like it doesn't matter, but it's going to yield the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. There's going to be something that comes out of this. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have to be, again, talking specifically about this vlogging that I'm doing, but just with life in general. I don't know what's going to come out of the season that I'm in right now. I don't know what the Lord has planned for whenever I'm finished with this season, you know, what the next step is even. I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I do know that pressing through the discipline, pressing through the hard times, not giving up and keep showing up is going to lead and yield peaceful fruit. God is going to bless it if you're doing it for him, if you're doing it for the righteousness of him, if you're doing it for the kingdom of God. God, his glory and not ourselves. He is going to bless it. He is going to give you what he wants to give you, what you need, not what you think you need or not what you want, but what he knows you need out of all of it. So I'm encouraging you today, Hebrews 12, 12 11, that for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So keep pressing on. If you're dealing with something right now that seems impossible or seems worthless or seems like there's just nothing showing up, like the things that you're doing are so mundane, they're so boring, they don't mean anything, trust me, they do. And they're going to. You may not see it now, you may not see it tomorrow, you may not even see it next week, but you're gonna see it, feel it, it's gonna happen eventually because God's in it and his timing is perfect and you are going to yield the peaceful fruit of righteousness in the right time because God has been training you and working with you through whatever it is that you're doing so don't give up. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date, see behind the scenes of what's going on in my life. And if you want to be connected in any other way, I have a Patreon group. I have an email that I send out every week. And I have a podcast where I just sit and we just talk about what I'm experiencing, what I'm learning, kind of like I am here, but it's through a podcast instead of just showing you my daily life. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.